Is it just me, or is this universe getting a little weird? Just look at this weird argument over a giant rubber duck. Ugh, Canadians never argue about anything, and now they're divided by a 30-foot bath toy. Hey, give me a break. Wouldn't it be nice to just, I don't know, ditch this place once and for all and head on over to a new universe? A nicer universe, a more tolerant universe, one where everything was kind of the same, just better. Wouldn't that be great? Well, apparently such a journey may be quite possible. So get yourself a notepad and a piece of paper, folks, because we're about to find out how to travel to a parallel universe. Number four, do something. Huh? Well, that's easier than I thought. All I need to travel to a new universe is do something? Great! And it's true. Because if the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics is correct, then you have just traveled to a new parallel universe in an infinite amount of times while I was reading this sentence. This theory states that an infinite amount of parallel universes exist, and each one is created whenever something happens. When you drink a glass of milk, new universe. When you stroke a kitty cat, new universe. Literally, every single event causes the formation of new branches of the multiverse, with every possible outcome all played out across the infinite expanse of reality. But this theory goes deeper than you might imagine because this process doesn't merely apply to events that we humans consider significant. It also applies to every action at every point in time down to the quantum level. Microbes, atoms, quarks, minute changes in these also create new universes. And this means that your progression through parallel universes is constant, mimicking the very passage of time itself. The prospect of the many worlds interpretation is pretty mind-blowing, though. So let's look at a simpler way you might be able to traverse the multiverse. Number three, die. According to quantum immortality, the way to leap into a parallel universe is simple. You need to die. This concept also has some roots in the many worlds interpretation. But in this theory, consciousness holds a more important value than in our previous entry. Rather than parallel universes branching off whenever anything happens, quantum immortality suggests it only occurs when a conscious being dies. At the point of death, your consciousness flows out via means unknown to another version of you in a reality where you didn't die leaving your dead self back in a different parallel universe for your relatives and friends to cry over slash grope. However, before you go taking a chainsaw to your face, we should point out that there are some serious flaws in this idea. First, it doesn't quite explain what happens to humans when they reach old age, because at some point we all have to die. And second, there is no possible way of proving this theory without one person ending their own life. And it's pretty hard to get funding for that kind of experiment. Huh, who knew? So far in this video, we've only looked at ways you could travel to a parallel universe in a linear fashion, i.e. along a normal timeline. But are there any methods we know of which might enable us to travel to an entirely different parallel universe at a different point in time? I sure hope so. Otherwise, the rest of this video will be nothing but geese. Number two, discover a new dimension. If parallel universes exist, then where are they in relation to our present universe? They are not above or below us. They're not to the left or right, and nor are they ahead or behind us. These separate universes must exist on an entirely new dimension of reality. And if we want to travel to one, well, we'll have to discover what this dimension is made of. However, according to string theory,
space-time has 11 different dimensions, with another theory suggesting as many as 26. So even if we do discover a new dimension, it may not be the one we need to travel across the multiverse. And once we find the dimension we're looking for, it's still going to take some time to figure out how it works. Time is considered to be the fourth dimension, but we're still figuring out how to deal with this, let alone seven more dimensions. At present, we can only move forwards through time, but in recent years, we've learned how to move forwards much faster through the fourth dimension by moving at super fast speeds. So far, that's our limit, but it does give us some hope. I wonder what happens if we move at super slow speeds. Maybe we should ask these guys. Oh my god, can sloths travel through the multiverse? Is that why they're so happy all the time? Well, sloths have seen all there is to see. Huh, they're the silent watchers of reality. Or they're not, and I'm just talking nonsense. I guess it's more likely that if we ever do figure out how to travel to a parallel universe, we'll probably need some kind of portal. Okie dokie, let's build one then. And at number one, build a gateway. Theoretical physicist Michio Kaku has proposed that traveling between parallel universes may be possible if we were able to construct a gateway powered by an apparatus that encompassed the entire solar system. <sighs> That's my Saturday afternoon pooched. Kaku's portal requires an astonishing amount of energy to rip a hole in the fabric of space-time which he thinks we could do by building an atom smasher half a billion miles long. Basically, imagine the Large Hadron Collider if it were supersized and it ran through the entirety of our sun's asteroid belt. That's what we'd be building here. The atom smasher would fire two particle beams in opposite directions through a series of relay stations with each using powerful gravitational fields to bend the beams into an orbit around our solar system. <laughs> The two streams would move in opposite directions, and after a few thousand laps of our solar system, they would get faster and faster until they collide, with the resulting explosion so powerful it fully tears reality a new one, creating a wormhole. Kaku proposes stabilizing the wormhole by injecting it with negative matter, and this is a substance we've only been able to create recently. Negative matter, as well as opening up the wormhole, would make it safe to travel through, albeit only for small molecules and particles. Beings like you and I would end up stretched into spaghetti if we tried to move through it. But we could theoretically send miniature nanobots if they're small enough. That last fact was a bit of a Debbie Downer, wasn't it? It'd be awesome to travel to a parallel universe, but at present, we can't imagine a way of humans doing that without being torn into Italian food. But who says we need to travel to a parallel universe anyway? Because why physically visit somewhere when you can communicate with it from the comfort of your own universe using the transuniversal internet? We've explored this idea in our bonus video, The Multiverse Internet which you can watch on our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash strange mysteries. For a $2 a month pledge, which you can cancel at any time, you'll get to watch this and indeed all of our bonus content, which goes deeper and darker into every topic than YouTube allows. If you don't want to donate, then it's cool. We still love you. And we'll continue to provide the best content we can under YouTube's restrictions. As you'll see if you watch our recent video on why parallel universes exist.